Welcome back to my channel and it's so nice to see you all after a very short break of few days and I really apologize for not uploading the videos regularly in a time schedule. Right and I believe that from today we are back on the track and I'm happy to inform you that. Right in this video we will continue exploring our strategies to improve our productivity for university exam. So far we had a video first one on the series on how to study biomechanics. The second one was how to score 90 plus in biomechanic exam. The third thing was uh, we discussed a few chapters how to study hip complex, how to study shoulder complex etc in different videos. And finally we had a success kit which was not available for everyone which you had to purchase. And I believe that uh, most of you have watched this three series of videos and majority among you I know that have purchased this success kit. And right now you are in track to the final ultimatum of a university exam. You might have prepared a lot but still I tell you there is one more obstacle there is a hurdle that all of you are supposed about to face when you reach in the university exam when you are at the examination hall and that is the problem of time management which we are going to discuss today. You might have heard a lot about the stories about uh, some athletes who had uh, lost the Olympic medal just because they could not finish on time. Just because they uh, finished a fraction of a second or less than that when compared to their opponent. And you can imagine how desperate they would be, how sad the situation would be. And many of you have also experienced another situation where you have studied everything and at the end of when you are writing the examination you have done in a perfect manner. Uh, seeing the question paper you feel that you are going to track it, crack it and you get the best marks. But at the end you are not able to write three marks, three questions or two or five marks question and you are so desperate you know the answer. It's so easy but you could not do that. Nobody is going to give you extra minute. Nobody is going to give you extra time. Teacher is not going to give you extra mark because you had uh, not written it. Teacher knows that uh, your teacher may be familiar with you. So he knows that you know the answer or you can you tell them that as a teacher, I'll tell you the answer later. I'll tell you the answer. Can you just give me marks? No, it's not possible. That deadline is over. The three hour time clock has run and it's end. There is nothing else that you can do. You can understand, you can, many of you have already faced that scenario, that sad situation where you studied day and night, where you studied without sleeping, but you could not produce it in exam. And your friend who may not have studied that much still managed to get him up above you because he managed to attend all the questions. So what is the big deal over here? How to track this problem of time management? In fact, every student, not just biomechanics, every student, including you and me, had this problem. I'll tell you a story. Not a story, something really happened in my life in my 10th standard examinations. We were the first batch in our school and we had to get the best mark. School needs prestige to get the next admission. So a lot of force was on us. And that time, 10th standard was a life turning if I'm not like uh, right now. Still it is, but it has a, a greater amount of uh, what you call um, social acceptance. When you score something great, I have full A plus etc. in 10th standard. Now all of many, many students ask that uh, full A plus. So what happened is that uh, I just bought a examination, uh, what you call question bank. Uh, which contain 10 to 20 questions uh, from 10, 20, 10 to 20 full mark questions okay 10 to 20 sets of questions from uh, all the subjects and what I did was in my study time table and in my um, study leave I actually uh, wrote down the paper I took the time of three hours desperately went for that and written down so what happened is that many people would tell me, are you mad of writing the question paper again and again, different, different question paper before the university examination? You can just go through that, no? But uh, that is the first time that I did it in my life. 
and the result was very beautiful i could score good and more than that i could complete in time and the important thing is that not the 10th standard still from that to my under graduation and post graduation i have not faced the problem of time management because i have mastered it once i know how to do it because i have done earlier so the thing is that you need to be familiar with all these things so how to tag this problem of time management that's what we are going to talk now we are not going to talk about my experiences but how to track the first thing is that plan ahead of your journey what is that for example you need to reach at 10 am into a location which is around 400 kilometers from your home and you have a car and you drive do you get up at 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock as usual without any alarm or oh, and you just brush your teeth and just sit relax and take the car and just drive away no what you do is that you will plan ahead if that road is not familiar with you you will plan ahead you will get up early you will move out from your home early you won't spend a lot time wasting and that is what you need you need to plan ahead of your exam how to plan ahead is it a journey like a car is it like a car journey no it's not what you need to know here is that you should understand your university examination pattern that is our route that is our distance your university examination pattern in one hand and your time limit in another hand this don't have a balance the thing is that no uh, you get 50 marks examination for your internal exams mostly in your school in your college for 2 hours when that 50 marks examination is going to 100 marks which is double of it your time should actually go for 4 hours but what happens is that time actually come by 1 hour less and it becomes 3 hours so there is no balance with this thing there is no balance with this thing so how to track that how to track that to track that you should plan ahead so you should understand that you have a 3 um, uh, three hour examination for 100 marks that means uh, forget about the hour 180 minutes is there in front of you for your 100 marks examination you should determine yourself how many how much time you are going to spend for one single question or a set of question for example we have long essay set we have short essay set we have short answer set so how much time are you going to spend for long essay short essay short answer that you have to determine for example the first strategy if i am student name a or a student name some name maybe tony okay um he just finished his first essay with 45 minutes very beautiful with all the diagrams second essay with 45 minutes 15 marks essay i am talking about so he's done the greatest part the difficult part of 15 into 2 30 marks it say he has done in a perfect manner with 45 plus 45 which is 1 and 1/2 hours that's 90 minutes uh, he feels kind of so happy uh, i've done my essay and i'll win in the exam i'll get the best mark but let me ask you how much mark you have done, written he have written for 30 marks by 1 and 1/2 hours is it 1 and 1/2 hours yes 90 minutes is half of 180 by 1 and 1/2 half the time of the stipulated time he has just finished 30 marks oh my god 70 is the and the story is that in the 7 30 marks you won't get 30 that's because it's a essay question if you are lucky if you can get it 26 or if you can return it in a good manner 25 24 so only 25 percentage of the marks he have scored by half the time of examination if everything is correct in that okay if it is not correct again his score will go down so if everything is correct in that he has just scored the 25 percentage is he going to win in the exam is he going to score well in the exam then he have the pattern like a 10 for mark system he finish with 15 minutes each 15 into 4 60 so 90 plus uh, so 90 minutes plus this one oh what can what can what can what can you do and he can he have to finish the 10 3 marks question with the actually 30 minutes is that possible is that possible 
no it's, it's not actually possible he would be in a problem okay so he finished half the marks with this one again 60 minutes with this one 180 150 minutes and 30 minutes for 10 marks question three marks three minutes hardly in a question and he can do that the story is that no uh, if he had some other style for example he finished that essay question with the uh, uh, 30 minutes each like uh, 35 minutes each or 30 minutes each it becomes only one hour still he had got 120 minutes with him so what is the benefit is that even if he write it for 30 minutes or 45 minutes he would have done it in an above average manner so he would get like a 11 mark instead of that 13 so 11 plus 11 22 uh, otherwise he would have got it 26 so three marks only is uh, or uh, what in four marks is only painting over there but what is the benefit is that he can write that essay question short answer question and you know the benefit of writing short answer is that uh, you have 10 marks 10 three marks question for example it, it differs from the university so in this three marks question the benefit is that if you write it in an above average manner you get two two and a half mark so if you write two two and a half uh, two two three marks question in a very beautiful manner you get five marks instead of struggling a lot in the essay. So if you miss three three marks question finishing your essay for finishing your essay, what you are losing is that you are using nine. In nine, you will definitely get eight if you write it. But in essay, how much you write also, you will get one or two marks more. You are not going to make it the perfect thing because that's not going to happen. So that is the difference. You should understand that. Uh, uh, how to devise and how to give away your time. So one strategy that I have given to my students, and I believe that many of you, many of them are practiced it. I don't know if all of them are doing that, but is like uh, 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 for a div for an examination pattern, like 15 marks, two questions, 10 marks, four questions, 15 marks, two, 30 marks, uh, 10 marks, four question, which becomes 60 marks, uh, sorry, 40 marks again, 40 plus 30, 70 marks, and 10 three marks question, so 100 marks. In that, you have to write your essay question with 35 minutes in with your eyes, like, uh, oh, 35 minutes, why can't I make it 40, 35 minutes, exactly 35 minutes? So, 35 plus 30, it becomes uh, how many minutes? Uh, 70 minutes. You have left over with 110 minutes, right? You have left with 110 minutes. Even if you are not good at mathematics, try to be good at time management because this is very crucial. Now we have 15 marks, uh, 10 marks question, which is usually four in this pattern. It differs from your university. So 15 into four, which is how much marks? Uh, which is a uh, 60 marks. So how much we have already done? We have done uh, 70 plus how much? We have done 60. We have done 70 plus 60, which becomes 130 minutes, and you are left with 50, mar 50 minutes. Three marks question you have 10 questions, so you can spend five minutes for it. 10 into 5, 180 minutes, so 50 minutes. So, totally 60, sorry, 70 plus 60 plus 50, which gives you 180 minutes without even taking rest for a minute. If you lose a minute, you are going to lose some marks. So this is one strategy. If any, if your university pattern is having 20 marks questions, two 20 marks question, then correspondingly some uh, three 10 marks question and uh, ten, three marks questions of eight or six, something like that, then you have to devise another strategy. Even if you are having a essay question for 10 marks question, you have to devise another strategy. Then if it is 20 marks, you might have to give for about like uh, 40 minutes. If it is 10 marks question only, you have to give only 25 minutes or 30 minutes. So that you have to do it. And if you, and uh, when you do it, when you do it in a paper, if you feel that whether it is correct or not, you can just uh, drop a message in my WhatsApp number. And we have now a number specifically for our channel, which is a business number. And of course you can uh, contact me in time in that only I may not be able to reply always in time because of the time zone difference. Still I'm trying to reply to your messages and your doubts. So the first strategy over here is plan ahead. So you have plan ahead, you have devised your strategy, you have uh, divided your time for each set of questions. Now, the second thing is that stick on to that. Now, second thing is that stick on to that. Don't deviate. Your essay question may be static and dynamic stabilization and you have done it like a water. You can drink, uh, sing it like a poem. Don't go for 45 minutes for that. Stick on to your plan. If it is 35, 
finish it with 35. So what you need to know is that your best companion is your watch. In between exam, you have to just look into the watch and when it runs to 25 minutes, try to wind up the things. Draw diagrams if you are not able to finish it and just to wind up the things. Fast, fast, fast wind up the things. So the best thing I used to do is that I used to keep my watch over the table like this and just look at the time or ways. So every single thing how to finish in time. 35 minutes is done. Okay, done. I started in 10 o'clock. I finished in 10.35. Good. I got for the next one. I finished it at 11.10. If you're not good at uh, looking the time in watch, perhaps you should practice in the home because otherwise you'll make a mistake from 35 plus 35. You might make a mistake over there. Still use the time in the watch. Best companion for you. So stick on to the plan. Don't deviate from it. Okay. The next strategy or next tip is that do preparations. I told you earlier, I had done a question bank. Similar to that, take some university paper, try doing it. If you are a first year student who is watching this, if you do this one, it's a painful thing. Uh, writing the exam uh, before the university exam, three or four questions or one or two questions or one question at least, it's difficult. But if you're doing it, you are actually saving your life. You don't have to do it in the second year, third year, fourth year or in post graduation because you have mastered how to tackle the time. So it is a long term investment. You are just investing to your career. So you invest it. Take some costume papers, spend some three hours itself, um, go to some place in your uh, home, maybe your room. Don't get distracted, keep your phone silent, to keep the time or on and write three more questions, sorry, three hours exam and for three hours itself. If you're not able to concentrate, get up in the morning and do it. Fine, you will be able to do it. So do your preparation, do your homework. I used to say, do your homework. And, uh, the next one is that use your cool of time. Most universities have a cool of time, which is actually you go to your examination hall, you spend 15 minutes uh, filling up those things, and 15 minutes before the exam, you get your question paper. And when you get your question paper, just go through the question paper and uh, think in your mind. If you are not right, you're supposed to write in the question paper, okay? So think in your mind, which are the first point that I'm going to write in the essay? Because that is the one you are going to attempt first. If you are able to make it to the 35 minutes, you have done the job. You have half done the job. So just write down in your mind what are the points that I have to go through. And go through all other questions. You might feel that there are some questions which are difficult. One or two questions. That's expected. Try to devise uh, some strategy in which you are going to give some emphasis on that questions more. Maybe in pre marks you have some easy questions. You are so sure about it. You can save some time, three minutes, three minutes or two minutes. You can finish in three minutes and save them two minutes and spend that for your difficult question. So plan it ahead. Use your cool off time to devise a strategy to modify your time schedule. Think that uh, there is two easy questions. I will finish this with a three months in itself and I have two plus two, four minutes left over. That is equal to one question writing, uh, one question, uh, writing one question so I can uh, put on invest that time for my difficult question. And in difficult question also try in your mind which are the ways in which you are about to write. Especially it's more important that if in your pull up time you should uh, determine how you are going to start the essay, the introduction. If you have done that, all is good. The perfect first impression is the best impression. Similar to that, the perfect start is, is like you win the race. And finally, don't you lose your confidence in difficult situations. You might uh, stretch over like a 35 minutes, become some, maybe become 40. Don't, uh, don't, don't, don't get disappointed. Don't get disappointed. Try to finish the next one in time. At least try to finish the next one in, in 35 minutes. Still you are short, uh, in short of five minutes, five minutes. You can cover up it in the 15 marks, 15 minutes, uh, a 10 marks question where you will go off for 15 minutes. You can wind up it with 30 minutes. So, and don't lose yourself if you see some two or three questions difficult. You can do it. You try to give a more emphasis on the easy one which you know and at the end, try some time and do that for the difficult questions. So, don't lose your confidence. So, these are some tips which I feel is relevant for university examinations. Is it a long discussion? I don't know about that. But still, I feel that this will help you out. So this will definitely help you out and don't feel that 30 minutes or 40 minutes or 180 minutes or 30 minutes 35 minutes it's not difficult just take a blank paper and try to it does it all to you if you want any correction in that if you think that your strategy is correct just drop me a message in my number to approach in that manner okay 
And that, with that, we wind up this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and kindly subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And share this content with your friends.